All right, before we transition into some other subjects, um, I want to finish up uh, some chemical ideas. So we've been talking about the different kinds of bonding, ionic bonding, for example, or covalent. And then also, uh, lastly, we were talking about hydrogen bonding. Um, so these are the ways that atoms can interact with each other and create molecules, or in fact, molecules can interact with each other and create substances that have other properties. Another thing that really influences um, the way that molecules interact has to do with the shape. The shape and the size of a molecule will influence its function. For example, um, in this case, this is a brain chemical and the synapses in your brain um, from the transmitting cell to the receiving cell will have receptor molecules um, that will accept um, signal molecules of a certain size and shape and only them. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing is that you need to remember is that there are different states of matter. The different states of matter are related to the solid, liquid, and gas. And the changing of states of matter, say for example, from a solid to a liquid, takes heat energy or the motion of molecules. Um, and likewise, from a liquid to a gas. And um, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the chemical reactions. Um, you need to know some basic things about chemical reactions before we can go on and talk about some of the other subjects. We'll talk more about chemical reactions later. So chemical reactions that are basically written like a mathematical formula. So you can see here, this is A plus B is going to be equal to AB. So just like a mathematical equation, this can also go the other way. But in biological systems, oftentimes or many times, it's going to be just going in one direction or in one direction predominantly. Um, the things on the left are called the reactants and the things on the right are called the products. You can also go, like I said, the other way, so I can have a reaction that the reactants are on this side, that is AB, going to the product A plus B. So whatever's on the left is called the reactant, whatever's on the right is called the product. Um, some reactions build molecules, like A plus B is making AB, which is building something. That, generally speaking, requires energy, and it's called endergonic in biology. If you've had chemistry before, you know that that is called endothermic, but in biology, that means um, animals that are warm-blooded. Um, so we uh, use endergonic instead. Some um, uh, reactions break down, like this reaction, taking a molecule and breaking it down into its components, and uh, that would usually or generally release energy. This is called exergonic. Again, exothermic would mean an organism that is influenced by the outside temperature uh, greatly.